Hello everyone and welcome to Survivor Radio Network, your weekly nerd news. If you like this video, give us a like, consider subscribing, and join us on Discord. Everything we talk about this week will be linked below. Let's jump into it. Kronos Before the Ashes Kronos Before the Ashes is a new atmospheric RPG prequel to Remnant from the Ashes, featuring deep combat with multiple weapons and abilities and a unique aging mechanic. Every time you die, you get one year older and have to deal with the impacts of getting a little less nimble, but maybe a little wiser. Kronos Before the Ashes launches on PS4, Xbox, Switch, Stadia, and PC on December 1st. Empire of Sin. This new strategy game from Paradox Interactive puts you in the Prohibition era 1920 Chicago. Choose from 14 unique crime bosses and rule the underworld economy. Manage speakeasies, supply chains, and casinos and go toe-to-toe -to -toe in turn-based combat as you build your empire of sin. On PS4, Xbox, Switch, PC, and Mac on December 1st. Rainbow Six Siege. Exactly five years after the initial release date, this beloved tactical team-based FPS makes its way to next gen. All your expected upgrades are here, including enhanced visuals with up to 4K resolution and 120 FPS. The PS5 version will also feature adaptive triggers and haptic feedback. Current gen players will be able to get the next gen update free and keep your progression and in-game items on the same console family. Rainbow Six Siege next gen update launches on December 1st for next gen consoles. Twin Mirror. This trippy narrative-driven thriller will have you jumping into the mind of Sam Higgs as he investigates a recent tragedy and reconstructs and rearranges memories in his mind to solve the mystery. For the makers of the acclaimed Life is Strange and Tell Me Why, Twin Mirror launches on PS4, Xbox, and Epic Game Store on December 1st. Worms Rumble. Because eventually every game will probably get a battle royale, there's Worms Rumble. Fortunately, the Worms universe lends itself to the genre pretty well, with tons of weapons and gear to choose from. Play solo or in squads in this real-time cross-platform battle arena for up to 32 players. Worms Rumble crawls onto PlayStation consoles and PC December 1st. Immortals Phoenix Rising. This game from the Assassin's Creed Odyssey studio was originally known as Gods and Monsters, but had to change its name due to a lawsuit from the energy drink. Yes, Monster Energy really made them change the name. Fortunately, in-game, you'll be able to defeat the giant evils that plague the land instead of having to give in to them. This game is heavily inspired by Breath of the Wild and Assassin's Creed, as well as Leslie Nielsen comedies like The Naked Gun and Airplane, so expect immersive open-world action in the pantheon of the Greek gods mixed with heavy comedy and fourth-wall-breaking jokes. Monster Energy Zero Sugar <coughs> Immortals Phoenix Rising launches on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, Stadia, and PC on December 3rd. Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition 
the ultimate edition of this acclaimed final chapter in the iconic Japanese RPG series Dragon Quest, previously released on the Nintendo Switch, is now available for PS4, Xbox, and PC. Featuring extra character-specific scenarios, a new orchestral score, 2D and 3D graphics modes, Japanese voiceover, and much more, Dragon Quest XI-S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition drops on December 4th. FIFA 21. It's FIFA, it's EA. While it may not be innovative or consumer friendly, it's the best place to play football on consoles, and you probably know what you're getting into. The next-gen update includes the usual 4K and 60fps, as well as haptics and card utilization on the PlayStation 5. Unfortunately, the upgrade is free if you own the game on current gen, although be mindful, you can't play across console generations, so choose the option where your friends are. FIFA 21 hits next generation on December 4th. Madden NFL 21 if you were offended when I called FIFA 21 football, well then Madden 21 is for you. Much like FIFA, Madden gets 4K and 60fps upgrades as well as enhanced lighting, more realistic crowds and sidelines, and better player models in more realistic environments. Madden 21 kicks off on Next Gen December 4th. Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, and the Blade of Light. Fans of the Fire Emblem series can pick up this Famicom port of the 8-bit classic from 1990, released for the first time ever in the US with modern features. Choose from over 50 playable characters and swap between them to suit the mission. Save and rewind if you make a mistake. Discover the beginnings of Marth and his allies as they defend the kingdom of Talos from the Shadow Dragon. Fire Emblem releases on Nintendo Switch on December 4th. Fitness Boxing 2 Rhythm and Exercise This shadow boxing exercise game for the Switch gets a sequel featuring customizable workouts, multiple training styles, two-player workout mode, and a handful of popular pop tracks to punch up your fitness routine. Fitness Boxing 2 hits Switch on December 4th. John Wick Hex. Take control of the badass Gung Fu master John Wick in this prequel game containing a momentum-based combat with realistic and limited ammo in an original story featuring some of the iconic voice talents from the John Wick movies. Plan and strategize your moves to tactically take out foes and choreograph strategy action. John Wick Hex is out now on Epic Game Store and PS4 and drops on Switch, Xbox, and Steam on December 4th. Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4 This season is coming to an end in a big way, a Galactus Devourer of Worlds big way. Following the release of multiple Marvel heroes and accessories this season, the Battle Royale announced its next big season-ending event coming up December 1st at 4pm Eastern Time. Join up with your fellow players to take on Galactus all at once and try and stop what will likely be a permanent world-altering action. The season-ending events have turned into something that even casual players or gamers in general might want to check out for the epic, get it, epic, world-changing experience they offer for everyone all at once. Rumors are the next season may move to the other side of the Disney house and feature your favorite Star Wars characters from The Mandalorian like Mando himself, Din Djarin, and the child, Baby Yoda. Fortnite Battle Royale is available for free on all major platforms.
the hit game to play with all your friends in 2020, no, not Animal Crossing, Among Us, has been working to keep up with its success. Thanks to the community, we've already seen changes to how people play, like the game modes Hide and Seek and Anonymous Imposters and Voting, and the recent Proximity Chat mod. In addition, an all-new map has been teased by the devs and should be going into beta testing as this video is being made. If that isn't enough, the game is free on iOS or Android, and it's only $5 on PC. If $5 is too much, it's also on sale for $4 until December 1st on PC. So gather some friends and perfect lying to them in Among Us on PC and mobile. Let us know any games we missed, what games you're looking forward to, and don't forget to join us on Discord. I'm Dragon, and this has been SRN Weekly Nerd News.